There was once a disease that wiped out two thirds of Europe. The top six. Deadliest diseases in history. I'm talking about infectious diseases that have killed the most people over the course of history. Number six. The Spanish flu. No bueno. This disease was so deadly that even though it was only around for two years, it killed like a hundred milli human people. So that's 5% of the world's population. If you got Spanish flu, you'd have flu-like symptoms, then turn blue, then cough so hard your abs would rip. And not in a good way. Hi. And eventually you would bleed out from your mouth, nose, and ears. Gross. Yeah, that's not a good look, even on the sexiest of Spaniards. Hi. Ugh. Number five. Measles. Wah, wah, wah. In the last century and a half, measles killed 200 million people worldwide. That's like the population of all of these states combined. Sadly, measles is still one of the leading causes of death of children worldwide. So if you have access to vaccines, you should get them. Especially since in December, measles hit the happiest place on earth. Yeah! Been to Disneyland lately? Well, you might want to check yourself for an early sign of measles. Those little white spots in your mouth. Don't put your hands in your mouth without washing them. What are you doing? You look crazy and dirty. Number four. HIV and AIDS. Right now around the world, 75 million people are infected with HIV which can turn into AIDS. So it first showed up in 1981 in five otherwise completely healthy gay men. And of course people panicked and blamed them for being gay, which makes total sense. You're about to learn some shit. Scientists wanted to call it gay-related immune deficiency, or even gay cancer. These names quickly changed because, well, they're fucking dumb. Cut to now, where HIV is much more understood and people are out in the open educating each other. You can't get AIDS from a hug or a handshake or a meal with a friend. Shit. So go on dates, give hugs, and have safe sex, y'all. Lots of it. Number three. Malalalaria is not a joke. Malalalaria is known as marsh fever because it occurs in tropical places. It's carried by mosquitoes, lady mosquitoes to be more specific, because they eat blood. Dude mosquitoes don't carry because they eat plant nectar. Blame the ladies. Isn't that convenient? So this sexist disease, malalalaria, is preventable, but it still infected 219 million people in 2012 alone. If you got it, look for fever, vomiting, headaches, which leads to yellow skin, seizures, and death. Gross. And that's why super awesome billionaire Bill Gates is invested in ending malalalaria. He believes that even though wealthier countries like the US aren't super at risk, we have a responsibility to invest in ending it worldwide. Yeah, I guess Gates and I are on the same page on this one, but I'm still an Apple fan because they're delicious. Number two. The Black Death. The Black Death wiped out 60% of Europe in the Middle Ages and inspired the name of every heavy metal rock band ever. This outbreak was caused by one type of bacteria that attacked in three different plagues. One attacked the lungs, one affected the lymph nodes, and one got in the blood. Basically no part of you was safe. So the most common one caused huge swollen glands around your neck and your groin. Oh yeah, and your limbs turned black. Gross. And that's where the name Black Death came from. Yay! So the disease itself came from China and got spread around trade routes. Panic about the plague made violent crime and murder rates go way up. This was such a horrific time in history that we still sing about it today. Ring around the rosy. Yeah, it's about the plague. No, but it's cute. Keep singing it to your five-year-old. It's not morbid or anything. And number one. Smallpox. They should call it big pox. Am I right? Am I right? Smallpox is the most deadly disease. If you got it, there was a 95% chance that you would die. Side effects may include fever, body aches, nasty rash, and small pus-filled boils. And that's not all. Lesions would appear in your eyes, mouth, and you know, other openings. Do your dirty bits. These lesions blackened, peeled off, and let out a disgusting smallpox smell. You're about to learn some shit! This disease killed half a billion people in the last 100 years of its existence. That's a fuck ton of people. Lucky for you, smallpox doesn't exist anymore. It was wiped out in the 70s, all thanks to this guy named Edward Jenner. In 1796, Edward noticed that milkmaids never got smallpox. Kelly, you got skin like a milkmaid. Mm-hmm. That ass, though. So because these milkmaids work with cows, they were exposed to a much less deadly disease called cowpox. And what Jenner did is he scraped a little pus from a cowpox blister on the milkmaid and he injected it into the arm of an eight-year-old boy. Lucky for everyone, especially the boy, it worked. The first vaccine. Yay! Once it was a lot more proven and a lot less gross, people started getting vaccinated. So right now, smallpox only exists in labs in the US and Russia. Yep, Russia that place that's super pissed at us right now. So if you need another reason for world peace, it's this. Yay! The top six. All right guys, that's it for today. Cover your mouths, wash your hands, and have safe sex. Hi. 
I'm Kelly Landry, and you're smarter than you were. I gotta talk into you. <laughs> you can't get AIDS from a hug or a handshake or a meal with a friend. Shit. He just wanted my boobs to know that. Now you know. Now you know where you can't get AIDS. Now you know, so get out there. You do you, boob. boob. Oh, we just lean our head. Oh, yeah, to, to, like to we're dead. Way. That'll be so creepy. Fucking morbid. Ashes. Ah, oh my god. I think we got the shot. Nailed it. Nailed it in one. All right, guys, that's all you get of me today. Cover your hands, wash your mouth. <sighs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, in math terms, that's. I know, fuck. Billionaire, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes. Fuck, 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 fuck. And fuck, okay. I say fuck so many times.